Have you been dying to ride Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey at Universal's Islands of Adventure, but you weren't sure if you'd fit? Hey everyone, we're plus size park hoppers. We range in sizes from 2X to 5X. Make sure you like this video and follow us from our plus size tips and tricks. On this ride, you enter through the castle gates and down the familiar passageways and corridors of Hogwarts. We highly recommend trying the test seats in the front of the ride. The ride vehicle consists of one row with several seats. The seats are molded, which can be uncomfortable if you have larger hips or thighs. The safety mechanism for this ride is a chest restraint. Katie in the blue skirt wears a size 3X top and 22 pants. And why, why even bother trying, dude? I mean, you're literally spilling over to the next seat. I mean, at the... I mean, it's great that they have these particular test seats to, to, to ensure that if you're a big person, you're not going to be able to fit in it. So you don't waste time waiting in line just to find out that you don't fit into the ride to begin with. But I mean, the fact that this guy is even trying at all is actually really, really disrespectful. I'm pretty sure they only did this just to show people in the in the TikTok video that, yeah, guys, you, you know, you're probably not going to fit or whatever, dude. By the way, if you guys don't know, these are plus size park hoppers. I don't know exactly how they're able to make money because their entire content stream seems to be like three or four plus size women or big women. I mean, this woman's a 6X, right? Or a, a 3X? I don't know, dude. I have no idea how women's sizes work. It's so diverse from different establishments to different establishments. And some uh, some big retailers have their own inside, like their, their entire new spectrum of how sizes work. Like, for instance, Torrid has their own different sizing. So it's like, it's always weird. So I never claim to know how women's sizes work at all. Men's sizes are pretty much one and done, small, medium, and large. If you're above that, you got an issue, but at least you're like, you know, you're manageable. If you're like a 3X or a 4X as a guy, I mean, everything's pretty much going to fit you. Like, there's not really much, like, what are you going to do? You At that point in your life, you don't really care about what you look like to begin with. So why does it matter what you're wearing? It's going to be oversized. You can just role play as like Soldier Boy from 2008. It's not that big of a deal, right? But these people travel from across the country taking flights. I don't know if they're sponsored in any way because I was thinking about this. How is it that these people, what they do on their on their TikTok is go from different amusement park to a different amusement park and they just test out the rides and they travel all over the country. And I think it's like three to four big women. And I'm just thinking like, how do you guys make money from this? Like, do you, how do you pay for all that? Is it just like you guys get free tickets or like are the plane tickets free too for dude, these women are taking up at least two, two plane tickets for some of them, right? Am I wrong in saying that, dude? I don't know. So you have all these, all this money going towards that, plus all the money for food. That's going to be crazy. Like, I mean, not even because they're plus size. I mean, obviously they're plus size, so they're going to be eating way more because you're sustaining a lot more weight. Let's be honest. Let's just be, let's just be clear for a second. If you weigh two, three, four, 500 pounds, and you're just continuously weighing that throughout the, like a decade of your life, you're eating a lot of food to maintain that. I feel like a lot of people don't realize that. But if you're maintaining two, three, four hundred pounds on a, on a daily basis, you're eating a lot of food. I feel like these people just don't understand that. But also because they're not at home. So therefore, they're not going to be able to cook food. They're not going to be able to like, go to grocery stores. Usually when you travel to a different state and you don't have like a place, a residence to live there, usually you have to eat out. So I'm not doubting that these people are eating out probably on a daily basis because they're going to different restaurants. And I have to mention the amount of pure slop that you're going to be eating at these different uh, amusement parks, which are notorious for the, the overpriced delicacies that they present to you, which most of them are just deep fried slop anyway. But uh, that's what they do. And we're about to see this shit, by the way. Um, this is really, this is kind of crazy content to think that in the year 2024, we can have literally TikToks dedicated to big women traveling across the country to find out whether or not they're too big. <laughs> You would think that it would just be like, oh, we should just lose weight. I mean, this is ridiculous. We can't fit in any rides. And uh, you would think that they would try to lose weight. But now, nah, this is content for them. This is what they do. This is how they live their life. So, anyway. This ride is a chest restraint. Katie and I'll really give the guy, too. This guy here, I'll, I'll give him that he at least tried, you know? He, he put in the effort. The blue skirt wears a size 3X top and 22 pants. And her hips are 65 inches. The team member was nice enough to help us with the test seat. But unfortunately, even with some Damn. pushing, Katie Damn. was not able to yeah, get... He's really putting weight into that, too, bro. He's really pushing that down. I, I don't... Can you catch a lawsuit off this, bro? You... If I was this guy, I'd be like, nah, bro. You could do that yourself. I'm good. Dude. I'm not touching you. There ain't no way this is gonna work. You already look like you want. Look at this fucking position, bro. This is insane. This guy is most definitely catching a loss. So he's really pushing all his weight into that shit. For what, dude? You know that shit ain't gonna work. Look at the size. That shit is massive, bro. You're not even halfway down at this point, dude. It's useless. What is even the purpose? I guess for good content, but this is just embarrassing, bro. I'll give the guy credit for putting all his weight on that. I mean, he's literally bracing hard on that. And he's doing it, but it, 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 for what? For what?
get the green light for this ride. My name is Stephanie, and I am wearing the gray shirt. Nah, shorts. it ain't gonna work. I, I don't even know why the fuck I tried. Damn, you kind of big as hell. I didn't even manage to get it past the, the, the seat line. You're crazy, bro. I don't even know why I tried this, to be honest. Listen. Go over to the, uh, there's going to be a little communal area over there. Obviously, it's going to be like 10 minutes before you get up out of the seat. After you get out of the seat, can you tell the custodian to come back over here and just wipe it off real quick? I mean, you left a lot of grease left on it. I don't know what, <laughs> I don't know what's going on with all this grease on this thing. But anyway, um, go over there. And then, by the way, we'll send you over a burger. Don't worry whether or not it's been on the floor or not. It doesn't matter. Obviously, you don't care. That's what I'd be saying. I wear a size 2x top and size 20 pants. Uh, that, let me let me think. Hold on. It's a little bit better. It looks like she a little bit uh, thinner in the hips, so she ain't spilling over as much. So I'm going to think that it still ain't going to fit. It's her 60 inches. With some help from the team member, I was able to get the green light on this test. That's seat. interesting. Okay, that's how that works. She was able to get it down. I'll give it that. But uh, I still think it's probably going to be monstrously uncomfortable for all this for this person to sit down in this. I mean, she literally looks like like a, a packed packed tuna in a can. Look how look how compressed she is on all fronts on this. It definitely wasn't the most comfortable seat yeah, ever, no shit. but it wasn't the least comfortable at Universal either. I have been on this ride before. And He's it probably saying like, listen, you can go ahead and ride this, but if you die, like you can you sign something before you get on the ride because I don't even know. Like I'm literally pushing all my weight on this right now, and it's only lighting up for a green like for like a second or two. Can you go ahead and just make sure that if you get on this ride, you know that you might die and kill possibly more people? Was pretty cool, especially if you're a Harry Potter fan. One thing to keep in mind is that there is a moving walkway to get into the ride vehicle, so you will have to situate yourself while the ride is moving. There is a non-moving transfer station as well if you do have trouble with moving walkways. Bro, people are really dressing up as, like, Harry Potter shit, dude. I mean, it's cool. I'm not gonna hate on it, dude. Like, I know Harry Potter is really, really cool and stuff like that, but... I'm not really invested in it to like a lot of people. A lot of people are I'm invested in Star Wars. I'm not invested in Harry Potter. I remember there was that one movie. I forgot which one it was, dude. Do you guys remember that movie where it was like, uh, it was, the, I think Dumbledore stepped down or something like that. He got canceled or whatever. And there was a woman headmaster that stepped up and she, um, she was like the worst or whatever, dude. She was terrible or whatever. And then she went to the forest with Harry Potter and a whole bunch of dudes and some centaurs like came out of the woods and they just abducted her. They just took her and they stole her. And then they brought her back to her, the centaur cave or something like that. I remember when I was watching that, I was just thinking like, dude, she getting straight centaur meat, right? Like those centaurs are, am I wrong in saying that, dude? Like, listen, dude, these are horsemen. Like these guys got some serious meat capacity. They already, they already are abducting a lady. That's against the law. I don't know what you guys have in the UK. You can't abduct ladies here in, uh, in America. I'm pretty sure it's like that in the UK too. And they abducted her. I mean, listen, there was like five or six different centaurs. I know they're all big meated, dude. If you think that these guys are abducting a lady who's the headmaster of this school and they, you think they got morals, they don't got morals, bro. Shit's going down with that lady, bro. I don't know to what degree what was happening, dude. All I know is when I watched that shit, I was like, this is obviously some crazy shit. Like, what are they about to do to this lady? These are big meated horsemen. And I don't know if you guys ever watched that scene. But they stole her, bro. And they, these were these were straight centaurs. I don't know if you guys have ever seen centaur meat before. That's just serious, bro. That's straight horse meat. You man on the top and horse on the bottom is going to be crazy. That's all I know about. This ride is very similar to Soarin' at Disney World in the way that... So that's, that's all I think about whenever I, somebody brings up Harry Potter. I know a lot of people might think about Big Meaty Dumbledore or Voldemort or whatever his name is. I know a lot of people like that stuff. I, I'm up to date with the movies and stuff like that. But, uh... That's what I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about that one scene where the centaurs took that lady, bro, into the woods, never to be seen ever again. Bro, she's she probably still alive, but she's going down. That's all I know about. I don't condone that type of activity, by the way. You're looking at a screen while in a moving vehicle. If that's something that would give you motion sickness, this ride might not be for you. We hope that these tips help and that you enjoy your forbidden journey. It's a beautiful life, the fact that these women can go across the entire country and just test out rides like this, dude. Um, I don't know what's going on with these people over here, dude. These people look like they've been sitting here for like, pfft. it looks like somebody just left them there. Somebody's grandmother is just sitting here, slopped over. And somebody's got to check on this woman, dude. Uh, I think this woman's looking at the baby. This guy looks okay. But this woman over here, bro, she was at the beginning of the clip too. She kind of looked like somebody needed to check on her. I can't believe we even have to make this video, but yes, in the year 2024, people still think bullying is okay. Just depends on what you mean by bullying, dude. Like, 
I don't know if these people have ever gone to high school before, dude. You get bullied for almost anything at all. Like, I literally remember I used to get bullied because somebody said that my name was Gatorade and my name wasn't Gatorade, but because somebody thought my name was Gatorade, I got bullied for like a year and a half because uh, somebody thought my name was like, like Gatorade. It's just how it is. I don't know what to fucking tell you about that. It's not good. I'm not saying it's a good thing. I also got bullied for being white. I went to a predominantly black school and people used to make fun of me like, ah, Dave, your hair is straight. What am I supposed to do about that, bro? You guys wear lotion like literally 15 times a day and I don't even know what that is. Like I would literally go to school and people like, yo, let me get some lotion, let me get some lotion. I'm looking like, what is that? Like, what do you even, what do you even do with that stuff? Like, why are you rubbing it on your elbows, dude? And then dudes would come in and dudes would have like the most white, like sometimes dudes would come in with so much ash on their face, bro. They would be hustling for the lotion all day. Like, yo, let me get some lotion, let me get some lotion. And dudes would be making fun of them, bro. Like, yo, your face looks like the outside of a building, bro. You, your face looks like a brick. And it's crazy, dude. Uh, I had not known when I was, like, I went to a uh, white school or at least like a really, like a, you know, a mixed race school, whatever. It was a bunch of white kids, a bunch of everybody. But then I went to middle school and it was like 99% black. And I had not realized, like, I remember my mind was blown when one day a girl would come in. She was bald. And the next day, like bald as in like she had no hair. Or like she had hair, but it was like, you know what I'm talking about, bald headed, hashtag bald headed. And the next day she came in with a full head of hair. And I'm looking like, what did you use? to? What kind of elixir did you spray on your hair? to make it grow like that and then the response i got back was mm, it's a weave and i'm like what is that what is what is a weave what are you talking about and i didn't know what it was but you know luckily i got i got indoctrinated within the culture i i did i was managed to uh become a snow bunny and embrace my inner um ability to appreciate the black culture and things such and so forth so i don't know i don't even know what we're talking about anymore dude whatever uh it just depends on the bullying dude i don't condone a lot of bullying but sometimes uh people can Sometimes people misconstrued what bullying actually is, and they'll just say anything that's mildly offensive is bullying, when in reality, like, you guys just can't take jokes, you guys just really can't take criticism. It is what it is. I don't know to what degree these people are talking about that, but it just depends on what kind of bullying you're talking about and what you mean by bullying. First of all, I want to thank this community for the outpouring of support and love that we have received over the last 24 hours. I can say with certainty we couldn't have gotten through this without you. During yesterday's episode of the Toucher and Hardy show on WBZ's 98.5 The Sports Hub, they did a segment on us that was so vile and disgusting, I'm shocked that it even made it on air. We learned of the segment yesterday when someone told us to tune into 98.5, which is a local sports station. Throughout the segment, they not only played our entire video without our permission, but... You don't need somebody's permission to play your entire video. You put it publicly, and I'm sure they were working under the guise of fair use. So I don't know why it's so important for these people to point out, like, oh, they, pay they played our entire video. I don't know if you guys know this, but there is a thing called fair use. And, like, if somebody is using that, tr that video for transformative purposes, and they're using it for a different purpose compared to the one that you put it out, out for it's fine like you can totally do that shit so i don't know why you would even point that out as if like that's some kind of like claim against them that's a stupid point so it's already bad starting off so far local sports station throughout the segment they not only played our entire video without our permission but they paused every step of the way okay so they okay again uh, it's just if they're pausing you do understand that's different you can't say they played the entire video that's just great language we're using so far so good i'm already so like this is my problem when a lot of people sit there and say certain things they'll go they were bullying they were being bad people they played our entire video they did pause multiple multiple times to interject and talk about the video and say certain things about the video and make sure they were talking about things in depth about different topics and things such and so forth so like i'm already questioning what you what you're talking about when you mean by bullying like i'm already looking at you as it with a critical point of view here they not only played our entire video without our permission, but they paused every step of the way to degrade us. They started the segment with a sexist remark towards women. What they say? Hold on, wait. What did they say? Every step of the way to degrade us. They started the segment with a sexist. Women made a video for the internet. Okay, how is this sexist? Is this the is this the comment? Is this a Boston-based uh? Is this a Boston-based fucking thing, dude? Is it, the Patriots, the Bruins, and the Celtics? I don't know what this is. Is this Boston based, dude? Or maybe they just caught it at the right time. I don't fucking know, dude. Whatever. Remark towards women. What Throughout the segment? segment, they referred to us as fatzos. Plus size park hoppers, yeah, scale breaking, scale breakers. Hey, fatso, you know, you know before you get on. I mean, a lot of these people probably do know before they get on. I mean, it's a factual statement, dude. Like, if you're if you're over 300 pounds, bro, and you're thinking whether or not you're gonna be able to fit on certain rides or whatever, most of the rides ain't gonna fit you, dude. I don't know what to tell you. Most things in general, they're not gonna fit you. So, I mean, I can kind of, I, I, I can kind of see where they're coming from in this. Called our park bags feed troughs. <laughs> yeah, around the around the 
bag around the park bags, which also serve as feedings. <laughs> troughs when you're in the line you don't have to carry them you just put them around your neck and hope that hope that things so you're just like eating it out of your bag so it's jokes it's jokes i mean what do you want dude you're putting your video out on publicly right you're putting your video out publicly on the internet you're obviously going to be scrutinized depending on what you're putting out on the internet everything's held up to scrutiny you can't expect to just put something out on the internet and think that other people aren't going to look at that with a critical point of view and maybe want to use that for whatever their purposes are like how i'm doing right now it's it is what it is, dude. I don't know what you want exactly, bro. I mean, maybe get in contact with them. See if you can get an interview with them. Tell them what your point of view is. If they're willing to put your video out on there, then maybe they're willing to also have a conversation about why you think this is really, really important for plus size women to be able to like, I don't even know, like there's such a niche content stream. Like how many people are really going to, like who's really even going to uh, amusement parks anymore? Like what are you like, what are you anticipating? What kind of joy are you getting from going to an amusement park? Like when you leave, maybe you get a, like an, a, a 35% chance of getting a uti so you get you, you get an excuse to visit your doctor like oh i went to this water park and i went down the slide and there was a child at the very end of it and i slapped it against my foot because he was in the way and yeah i guess i got a uti and three yeast infections because the water is never actually cleaned or whatever doing going down that log ride dude that shit always smells like perpetual ass i don't like every amusement park that i've ever been in that log ride is always bad smelling. I don't know what they're doing with that water, dude. It's like they must be rinsing the Mexican guy's ass with that shit or something like that, dude. Because it's always spicy. When the water hits your eyes, you're coming out there with three sets of pink eye. It's never good. So I don't know who's going to amusement parks anymore. They're never clean. They never wash their shit up, dude. Everybody there is deplorable and everybody smells. I don't know what to tell you, bro. Especially if you're a plus size person. It's such a niche content stream. Like if you're plus size, once you reach a certain level, I don't even know what you're even doing watching videos about going to an amusement park. Like what do you think? I got a guy with no legs watching the, a marathon and going like, I'm going to do this one day. You're good. You can't. Your legs are gone. Sorry to say it, dude. It sucks. I know it sucks, bro. I don't think it's good to not have legs. I will say that. I'm going to die on this hill. Obviously, if you had legs, it'd probably be better for you. It sucks that you don't have legs. And I would hope that one day we are able to give you more legs or something like that somehow. I don't know exactly how you would do it. Maybe it'd be like one of those old time things where you, you inject like Play-Doh and just like, you know what I'm talking about? Like push the, push the dial down and just like out uh, new legs or something. I don't know how we're going to be able to do it. But I hope that one day you, you are able to get legs. Um, but the point I'm making is you're just setting yourself up for failure. Like who, who the fuck is 350 pounds looking at plus size park hoppers and going like, man, I got to... Ah, oh, this is really informative video for me because they're making a video about like this Ohio water park that I'm going to go to even though I live in California. I'm like who's traveling across the country to go to a water park, dude? Like what, what kind of life do you live in, bro? I think you got other things to worry about if you have that kind of expendable money. Anyway. Said that we should go get cleaned up at the zoo or go through. Our <laughs> Having to take a cold shower after getting all hot and bothered and i mean they just go to the zoo and just have people hose them down walk through a car wash really get you i mean hey dude it is what it is they're obviously saying this in joking manners dude uh you guys definitely need to clean yourselves off that's a factual statement i know these guys are being a little bit harsh about it but i'm gonna be i'm gonna be very genuine here dude the amount of times that i've been around a very plus size individual and smelled things that i probably shouldn't be able to smell in places that i probably shouldn't be able to smell because you don't notice right like for instance me i know when i smell bad because i only have like three places on my body maybe four depending on what you want to talk about i mean you could really type you could really put the the crotch area as one area i know a lot of people like to put it as two because you got meat and you got butthole but i mean let's be honest here most people could just probably put that as one so it's really just armpits and ass for the most part um if you should be smelling bad then you know you gotta wash up it is what it is right go to the shower um i know a lot of dudes think it's gay to wash their butt cheeks it's not gay i'm not asking you to take the bar of soap and slide it into your butthole i'm not asking you to do that i'm just asking you to lather up and just get in there it's all right bro if you accidentally touch your butthole you're not gay it's all right bro you're gonna have to do that i know a lot of dudes think it's gay it's not gay to have a butthole you're fine wash it please um, don't let women outshine us when it comes to washing buttholes. Don't let them, don't let them get that on us. Okay. Like us as men, we like, think about this. You're over here looking back at your ancestors, bro. These dudes were literally drinking blood out of the skulls of their enemies. And you're scared of touching your butthole, bro. Get your shit together, bro. Come on, man. Like, what are your priorities right now, dude? I just don't understand it. You're willing to eat a woman's butthole, but you're not willing to clean your own? Like, uh, it's just like, I don't understand this shit, bro. But definitely when you're a plus-size individual, you got a lot more areas to be cleaning because it's like you got armpits all over your body. So, like, I only have two armpits. But 
if you're big, you might have an armpit down here. You might have an armpit over here. You might have an armpit on your back. You might have an armpit on the, the in-between neckline. You might have armpits literally all across your body. And I don't think you've got enough deodorant to properly clean all that areas. Now, listen, if you want to be plus size and that's your choice and you want to be big and you want to be voluptuous and you want to be massive, that's your decision. But you have to at least understand that people are going to have to walk around you, dude. And it's really uncomfortable to have to have that green, that green lines of odor coming off of you. Like, I, like, the, the, like pig pen from, uh, what's that? What is that thing called? Um, I forgot the name of that show. I forgot the name of the show. You know the one I'm talking about, dude. Uh, the old show that nobody watches anymore with the bald kid. You know the one I'm talking about. Pig pen. You know what I'm talking about. How do I not? How do I know pig pen? But I don't know him. Or a car wash. They also insinuated that we eat donuts from dumpsters behind the ride. I don't think that they eat the donuts from the dumpsters. That's kind of deplorable. If you were to do that, I wouldn't be surprised uh, because the donuts are really, really expensive. And it just might be better since, like, don't they just throw away the donuts already? So you might as well just eat them. I don't even recommend buying donuts in general for most establishments because they're not really worth it, in my opinion. Like, these shits... Like, I went to a Dunkin' Donuts the other day and I was getting a coffee and I looked at the, the donut things. And there was, like, three flies on there. I was like, how many... So I guess I get the donut and a little bit of protein from the eggs that have been laid on there. So it's like a doubled up, I guess, but it's still not good. I don't want eggs on my donuts. But uh, yeah, we got the right where they throw away the old donuts behind the Space Mountain. Uh, there's a dumpster and it's there. They all have the 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 day old donuts <laughs> cakes if you stick around after. Damn, dude, they was kind of going hard on these women. On top of that, they made ableist comments referring to the accessible seat of Tron as the fat car. This woman's reaching hard, dude. This woman's really reaching hard, dude. This is that this is that victim mentality, bro. You know what I really would love, though? You know what I really would love? It's okay if you want to make your response video. It's all good. I, I appreciate you making a response video. I just really um, I just really want to know, like, why don't these people ever reach out and, like, try to get an interview or try to get a conversation with these people to, to like, convince them of their side? Because it's very easy to just make a response video. Um, but it's very, very hard to like actually articulate your claim and make it seem like this is a valid thing for you to do. Uh, I don't know to what degree these dudes, because I don't know the context of the video, because I didn't watch the video, because it's a radio show. I don't know who the fuck is watching radio shows anymore. That's crazy. I don't know if it's on YouTube or something like that. But anyway, regardless of that, uh, reach out, dude. Reach out. Reach out to me. I would love to hear your point. I would love to hear your points on... What, what, like, even if this was ableist of a comment, dude, isn't it by definition making fun of fat people? Isn't that already ableist because you're making fun of something that you would deem to be a disability, right? Wouldn't you technically think that? I guess you could say that I was ableist because I made that joke about the guy with no legs. Like, you, you guys take it too far. And this is one of the reasons why you guys lose so much, like, audiences because, like, your main claims are so incredibly outside the normal, the normal value of how humans operate in society that. Most people are looking at this like, yo, you're cringy, bro. Like, nobody thinks like this. In making these comments, Toucher and Hardy are perpetuating harmful stereotypes. Okay, you're fucking... Come on, dude. Come on, dude. This ain't the way to do it. This ain't the way to do it, bro. This is not the way to do it, dude. What you're doing is these guys were having a good old time. They were they were laughing and they were saying stuff. They were joking around in your own opinion. And you're coming at them and you're going, they're ableist. They're meanies. They're saying disgusting bad stuff that I don't agree with. And guess what else? They're ableist. And it's terrible. I mean, they might be borderline racist. Who knows? Like, it's just... It's just cringe, dude. It's just cringe. Like, nobody needs to take it this far. Come on now. And not only inciting hate for us, but for an entire population of people. You guys, uh, you guys are fat. I mean, let's just be honest here for a second. Like, your entire channel is literally called Plus Size Park Hoppers. Like, you noticed, did you not think that this was going to get some type of pushback? Like, you can't be surprised by this. You can't just literally, that's like walking down the street, stabbing somebody, and a cop go, hey, we're going to have to arrest you for stabbing that guy. And you go, what? Arrest me? For what? What did I do? Like, you're making a ton of content on the internet that's, like, really cringy and, like, kind of weird. A lot of people are going to look at that and go, let me make a video on that. This is abhorrent, ignorant, and just plain unacceptable behavior. Can you tell me why, though? You can't, like, I would love for somebody to just say those things and explain why they are. Give me some examples. Explain that away a little bit. I know you guys have a few minutes on TikTok now. I saw a video the other day on TikTok that went up to 10 minutes, right? You guys can make 10-minute videos on TikTok. Please expand off that. I get it. TikTok is the home of low-effort content. It's the home of definite, like, oh, under three minutes is, like, the, the thing. So, like, nobody's really intaking information. It's very easy to make a three-minute video, but... You're not really explaining anything at all. Like, you're not telling us why it's bad. You didn't explain why it's apparent. You didn't explain why they're ableist. You didn't explain why it's unacceptable. You're not explaining any of this. You're just saying it's bad. Like, that's not, that's not how you do shit. Please explain. 
especially as the flagship station for the New England Patriots. Okay, so it's like some Boston team. It's like some Boston shit, okay? <laughs> I look, dude. It is what it is, okay? I don't know if you've ever been to Boston. I, you know, it is what it is. Bruins and Celtics. You'd think they conduct themselves with a little more tact. And why, though? Like, what are you talking about? That's like, what? What do you, why would you say that? Just because they're the, the flagship radio show of that shit, that somehow they're going to be held up to some unrealistic standards because they can't. So because they represent a certain sports team, they shouldn't be able to talk about what they want to talk about. I don't know, man. Like maybe look at the contract or something. Maybe focus on, I don't know, sports. Okay. Okay. And maybe you should just be focusing on, I don't know, like plus size park hopping instead of making this video. I don't know, dude. Like I just kind of just, like, I just, I don't know how these people can just make these claims so incredibly arrogantly and then just sit there and make it seem like the everybody else is in the wrong, dude. Hey, yo, plus size park hoppers. I'm gonna hit you up after this video, bro. I'm gonna need to talk to you real quick. 98.5 Sports Hub needs to hold Toucher and Hardy accountable. They embarrassed us and shamed us in a public platform. I love that we sit here and we say that they embarrassed us when you willingly put yourself on the internet when you willingly put yourself on the internet to be getting tons and tons and millions and millions of views and then sit there and go these people that took our video that was on a public platform that was able to be downloaded literally you were able to have this video be downloaded so whatever uh and they took that video played it without our permission even though they don't need our permission and they also interrupted it and they made it transformative they used it for comedy and things such and so forth and they 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 just embarrassed us they, even though we were the reason for all this transpiring these guys are just terrible bad disgusting people i can't believe how how bad these people are even though literally we were doing all of this stuff to begin with and we just didn't want this particular type of you know this particular type of attention it kind of seems like you guys were the reason why all this happened Therefore, we deserve a very public apology. Why? Why do you deserve a public anything, dude? You already got... I just don't understand if your entire claim here was that you guys didn't want to be embarrassed, but yet you embarrassed yourselves, and then somebody else saw the embarrassing act and chose to identify the embarrassing act and emphasize it, and now you want them to apologize for what they did, which would only make the situation worse for you, which would be drawing more attention. Like, what's even the purpose, dude? Like, what are you guys talking about, dude? You guys are too entitled too entitled like what did they do wrong please emphasize that like if you're if you're gonna tell me what they did okay you're gonna go they did stuff wrong and all you say is well they just said really hurtful things and they embarrassed us therefore they should apologize can you please go into the reason why like can you have a conversation a little bit embarrassed us and shamed us in a public platform therefore we deserve a very public apology an apology not only to us but to anyone who felt belittled or hurt by what That's not how that works, though. Like, just because somebody felt hurt about something doesn't mean you should apologize for it. That doesn't even make sense remotely. That'd be like, would you say that to anybody else? Like, oh, yeah. Uh, hey, yo. Hey, yo. Can I get a, can I get a, a, a bacon, egg, and cheese? Uh, oh, my God. That, like, really offended me. Can you, like, apologize? Because, like, I, I don't eat eggs. I don't eat eggs at all. Can you, like, apologize for saying egg can you apologize for having an egg no nobody's doing that that's stupid so you're telling me that somebody needs to apologize because somebody offended you or offend might have offended somebody else does that make any sense like do you not realize how fucking stupid that sounds no does that not like okay whatever dude like this woman is obviously on a different level of stupidity already so apology an apology not only to us but to anyone who felt belittled or hurt by what they heard. We cannot unhear the things that they said. Bro, this woman got to grow the fuck up. I don't know why I hear so many people that are in grown people bodies acting like 13 year olds. You just need to stop, okay? Take the heat. It is what it is, bro. Maybe they said some things that were a little bit true. I don't know why you're going this hard on these guys. It kind of seems like maybe they hit a chord on you. Maybe they actually were right a little bit. Like, you can't take jokes. I don't know, man. It just kind of seems like if the entire purpose, if the, if the entire purpose of this was they embarrassed you. Do you think this is the right move to make if you don't want to be more embarrassed? Or do you think these guys are going to double down and make another response to what you just said here? I don't know why these people are so fucking dumb, dude. These like the, the definition of stupidity. These people are literally stupid. Like it's like you ever you ever see that it, literally there was a girl, okay, a little girl, maybe 13, maybe 11, I don't know. But they went to an amusement park and the little girl couldn't fit on the ride and she was embarrassed because there was like 100 people or 200 people in line that saw that she couldn't get in line and because she couldn't fit in the ride and stuff like that. And the dad was really really like embarrassed about that and the little girl was really embarrassed about that. So the dad scheduled a news report on this little girl and her embarrassment, thus making the story even more widespread, embarrassing her daughter, his daughter, even further. And I'm just thinking, 
you are the means to which the embarrassment is at place. And you are surprised that people are watching your videos and having diverse opinions on what you're doing. Not everybody's gonna agree with you. So when you make this stuff online and you put it out publicly and you want people to watch it, why do you expect other people that don't agree with you that, dis that, that are gonna make videos on the same way? Like, it just doesn't make sense. How, how come you can do it, but other people can't? It doesn't make any sense. They replied with a copy and pasted response that they sent to not only us, but everyone else who reached out to them with concerns. Not very sincere or genuine. After an hour- Okay, what was the reply though? Dude, like, I would love to know what the reply was. Pour of support from our community in which you sent emails. Yeah, I'm happy for you. I'm happy you got an outpouring of responses of your very, very, very- if your community was agreeing with you on this, they probably are as conditioned as you guys. Thus, you made a safe space for bad behavior. So, you know, hey, bro, it is what it is. I'm glad you guys have this community that you can literally just have yes queen moments and you guys can all just perpetually self-suck each other into oblivion and always glaze, glaze each other down with yes queens. That's awesome. That's awesome. I'm glad you built this toxic community of people. But, uh, dude, it's never going to help you. It's always going to make you feel worse because guess what? You know there's something wrong literally because outside people are literally <laughs> – I mean, they're telling you and you know it's wrong because you're making this particular type of response. So it's only a detriment to you. But you know what? Go off, queen. Messages and left comments. They finally took the video and the audio clip down from their website. We could not have done this without you. Never forget how powerful we are in numbers. Let's be honest here for a second. You think these people would ever be down to have a conversation with me? Probably not, right? These people are really, really adamant about making video responses, but they're never, they never want to have the conversation that I would be open to have a conversation with these people about what, why they're doing what they're doing, why they feel like they're so entitled to have people not make responses to them in this particular way. I would love to see what they have to say because you can't make these videos online and expect people to not say something about them. It's obvious, dude. Like you're putting yourself out in a very public way on a public platform. And now you're like happy about the fact that these people took down their shit. If anything, you should be upset about that because now you're just like taking away opinions that are probably valid. This behavior cannot and absolutely will not be tolerated or normalized. Why though? Why do you get to judge that? Why do you get to judge what can and cannot be normalized or like tolerated or whatever? What makes you the person at which gets to judge that? I would love to know what makes you like the, you know, the king of the hill there. This isn't just about us, but all of you. Virtue signaling hard. <laughs> we all deserve to be treated with respect and dignity. Well, I don't know why you gotta lump us all in here. Like, it just happened to you guys. It didn't happen to me. Have you been dying to ride Dr. Doom's Fear Fall at Universal's Islands of... Yeah, that ain't gonna work, dude. No way, bro. That's crazy that she even tried to sit on that shit. Adventure, but you weren't sure if you'd fit. Hey, bro, been... that that seems compromised as hell. Dying Hold to up. ride Dr. Doom's Fear Fall at Universal... Dude, this, like, part right here... This shit right here is crazy, bro. I would have no problem with this, right? But if you're a if you're a big individual, bro, you most you ever see that one meme or like that one video from South Park where the dudes were like, "Oh, introducing introducing the all new seat for bicycles," and it was like a dildo, and you just like sit down on it, like the most secured you can ever be because technically it's inside of you. So it's like, yes, this is great. So it's like you know you're getting doubled up. You get a dildo inside, it vibrates and stuff like that, and you're secure on the seat. It's beautiful. It's amazing. And um, when you pull it out, you hear like a. So those islands. Yeah, this 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 seat like right there, bro. That's not good for plus size people. That shit is gonna be most definitely, like if if I was a plus size individual and I sat down on that, I'm not a virgin anymore, anally. Adventure, but you weren't sure if you'd fit. Hey everyone, we're plus size park hoppers, and we range in sizes from 2x to 5x. Make sure you like this video and follow us for more plus size tips and tricks. Doctor Doom is going to suck the fear out of you by blasting you into the sky and hurling you back towards the ground in this thrilling drop ride. I didn't make this up. This is what Universal's app said. There is a test seat outside the entrance of this ride. We highly recommend trying it out before getting in line. I wear a size 2x, that's 44 crazy. F size 20 pants. I was able to fit in the seat, but I couldn't get the green light on the. Even so you weren't able to fit. I don't know why you would say you were you were able to fit, but you weren't able to fit. You weren't able to fit. If you weren't able to get the green light, then you didn't fit. So don't sit there. If I had gotten the green light, the seat was very narrow and my hips were not comfortable. Despite Katie's effort of pushing on the chest restraint, we still could not get the green light. Katie wearing the blue skirt wears a size 3X top. Like, why would you guys ever... It just seems like a weird stream of content, dude. It's like, it's so weird nowadays how some people will just make videos and that videos will be like the weirdest stuff of the world. Like what made you think that this was like the way you guys had to go on the internet, dude? Like making plus size, 
plus size parks, bro? Like, what do you got? Why? Out of everything you could have done, dude? Ah, I mean, it is what it is. There are plenty of people on the internet that do weird stuff, like that one guy that has sex with pizzas, or like women that fart on cakes. Of course, like, if there's a will, there's a way, and if people want to see it, there's people that want to see it. But, like, you guys are, you know, you're sitting there saying that these guys embarrassed you and this and that. Like, you guys are embarrassing yourself, bro. Do you expect to get, like, what kind of reception are you guys thinking you're going to get from this? Like, I would love to know, bro. 46 double D and size 22 pants. She was not able to fit comfortably. 46 double D? Somebody got to let me know about these sizes, bro. I knew a girl, and she was thin. She's a thin woman. And I think at her most, she probably weighed around 200 pounds. And she was a double H. Like, she was up there, okay? Uh, I think, like, a 40, a 40 double, a 40 H? I don't know, dude. It was, like, she was H. Giant um, front butt. And she always complained about having back problems consistently all the time, by the way. Like, she would always complain about that. But she lost a lot of weight. And when she lost a lot of weight, she went down to, I think she's, like, 36 double D right now. And she feels better. She doesn't have as much back problems. She still has back problems because those are massive. And um, I always think, right, how – okay, so I know this girl was, like, 200 pounds, and she was going through some major back problems, lower back problems consistently all the time. Had to wear two or three – uh, sports bras anytime that she ever went to go work out and I see people of this size talking about oh man it's so great to be fat or it's like it's awesome or whatever and it's like I don't do you guys have all the back problem like how much back problem do you have on a scale of one to all like it's got to be a lot right like there's no way you guys are not dealing with some major pain and by the way the amount of times like I've heard people before try to claim the reputation of like big front butt. You know what I'm talking about? I've heard people go, yeah, my front butt is crazy, dog. My front butt is so big, right? Boobs. And I have friends that are, you know, plus size men, big men, big men. They got bigger boobs than most girls. Am I supposed to be over there just licking boobs over from these guys? No. Uh, I don't really care that these guys have big boobs. They're not actually evident of anything other than just extra weight on their body. And the point I'm making is. If you're over here talking about some, yeah, you know, we got some big boobs. It's great, you know, being big breasted or whatever. I got guy friends that are also big breasted. I'm not high fiving them, and they wouldn't want to be high fived because they have big boobs. You know what I'm talking about? These are guys that could easily get a couple bras and they would be looking good. And I, they don't do that show. The point I'm making is just because you're fat and you have big boobs, I don't really care. In the test seat. If you have wide hips or bigger thighs, this ride will probably. Well, just being big in general is going to appeal to your life in general. So. Give you trouble. A larger chest could also prevent the chest restraint from locking into place. I decided to push down the chest restraint with no one in the seat. And I noticed that it would lock in if your body does not extend past the length of the arms. As you can see, there is not very much room. So I think anyone bigger than an extra large might have trouble with this ride. I honestly wasn't going to ride this ride either way because I am too scared. Let us know in the comments which universal well, ride. You know, that's a major cope. I wasn't gonna ride it anyway, even though I can't fit. I mean, I, I wasn't gonna ride it anyway. I mean, that's literally, that's a major cope, bro. I mean, it's like literally the equivalent of, you can't fire me, I quit. Like, come on, dude. Let's be honest here for a second. You wanted to ride that shit, and you couldn't. And that's all right. You know, there are certain things that I can't do. Like, I can't, you know, I can't run a, a long ass, like, I can't, I don't think I could run a mile in like seven, under seven minutes or whatever the fuck the thing is. I, I, there's a lot of things that I can't do, and that's okay, but the difference is, my body usually doesn't impede me from doing most of the stuff that you guys are talking about. I'd you'd like to see next. Have you been dying to fly in an airplane, but you weren't sure if you'd fit? No, I've never done that. No, I've never had that be a thing before. Dude, I just want to know, like, dude, you guys always just huddle up together. Three people. I got I to gotta keep it a buck. What size is this backpack, bro? Come on, man. What is this? That door explorer backpack? You got the map in there? How This backpack is Who is buying backpacks that small? Come on, man. That's ridiculous, dude. Is that what? It, what even is that? That thing is small as hell, dude. What is that Hello Kitty shit from Japan, man? What are you doing? How you gonna have this big ass luggage in this small ass backpack, bro? Come on, dude. Get your, get your shit together. This shit makes it look way worse too, given the fact that you already you guys are already big, right? You guys are big backed. Therefore, the, the back that the, the backpack that you have on in the back is gonna be looking really crazy, regardless of what you put on. You couldn't get like a North Face, dude. All the money you guys spend going to these amusement parks, none of that could be put towards a North Face, a quality backpack. I'm just saying, dude. I'm just saying. Hey, everyone. We're plus size park hoppers, and we range in. Size Everybody got small, dude. They're all traveling together. How much is this plane ride, dude? You guys, you guys fit in one seat. Uh, how much money are you paying for this this plane ticket, dude? Who are these women, dude? What? What? This this uh, this organization, this harem of women that are all going across the country to to, to go on amusement parks. Such an anomaly, bro. Like, how, where do you guys get the money for that, dude? Each plane ticket got to be a minimum, like what, one fifty, one twenty, bro. 
and there's one, two, three, four, at least four plus the cameraman, maybe five or six women here, dude. That's got to be at least over a stack. Counting the luggage, bro. That's over a stack. Not even to mention the admission to go into these amusement parks. Not even to mention the hotel. Not even to mention the food prices. None of that shit, bro. I mean, you guys are easily looking at three, four thousand dollars every time you want to. And not even to mention the price ticket to go back. I mean, you're literally. I mean, that's crazy amounts of money. How? Uh, where do you get that from? How do you afford all this stuff? All these women, you guys are all friends. You guys all chip in. How do you afford this? I need to fly in an airplane, but you weren't sure if you'd fit. Hey everyone, we're plus size park hoppers and we range in sizes from 2X to 5X. Dude, there's at least six, seven women there, dude. That's crazy. 5X. Make sure you like this video and follow us for more plus size tips and tricks. That's a three seater right there. Yeah, that's a three seater. Yup. Yeah, they, they got that middle seat right there. That's, damn, man. That's, uh, shit looks depressing as fuck, bro. Hey, bro, it is what it is, right, man? Ooh, damn. Damn, bro. That's a three seater right there, though. They, they, that middle seat is uh, unoccupied. Well, I mean, it's occupied. It's definitely feeling something. Flying as a plus size person can cause a lot of anxiety. Between worrying about if the seats are too narrow or if you'll need a seatbelt extender, there's a lot to think about. We've been flying with Southwest for years. Oh yeah, okay, never mind. That makes sense, yeah. If you guys flying with Southwest, I'll give you free seats, bro. But can you imagine being like, yeah, there's about seven of us and that means that we need probably the middle seat on every single one. So it's six people, you're literally looking at three free seats, right? Am I being, like, that's honest, like the middle seat, so you, you on the aisle and one of the window. The middle seat is always going to be unoccupied. And that's three free seats, bro. Maybe even eight. Uh, my bad. Uh, four. Because I think I saw seven people plus the cameraman. That's got to be at least eight people. So eight people. That middle that middle seat, that's four. That's four free plane tickets, bro. Damn, man. Can I get a deduction? Can I get a free plane ticket, dude? Can I get Can I get at least get an extra uh, uh, pack of pretzels when I'm on the plane, dude? I don't want to have to pay for the Coke. Let me get free Coca-Cola. I'm not gonna drink it, but it's just the it's just the idea of it. You know what I'm saying, dude? God damn, bro! Like all those free plane tickets. Years, mostly because of their amazing customer of size policy. Yeah, it that that company gotta be bleeding money like crazy. Ain't no way. Ain't no way, bro. That's crazy as fuck, bro. That's that's got to be at least four free, free plane tickets, right? If you think that your body will extend over the arms of the chair, you are able to book an extra seat and you will get refunded for it after your flight. It's super easy to do. You just book as two passengers and for the second one... What is XS? Extra small? When you put XS in the middle name, this will automatically be recognized as an extra seat in their system. When you get to the airport, you print your boarding pass as you normally would. Bro, can, you, can I do that too? Like, I'm going to have, somebody's got to try that, right? Somebody's got to be thin, normal sized, and put that extra seat thing and show up and be like, yeah, man, I just identify as fat. I'm big. I'm really big, but you just can't see it right now because I just, I don't know. I left it at home right now, but it's not that big of a deal. I'm going to pick that up when I get back. But, uh, yeah, man, it's, oh, man, good looks. Good looks on a free plane ticket, man. That's, you guys are really the best here at Southwest, you know, man, I, being a plus size individual such as myself, being big back such as myself, having a voluptuous frame such as myself, I really do appreciate having this extra seat just have, you know, just being here because I'm big, you know, obviously. Um, I know that you guys know that I did this to myself and I'm probably eating literally like an extra three, four, five, eight hundred calories every single day to maintain this size, maybe even more depending on how big I am. But it was really a GG on that. Thank you so much on giving me this free seat oh my god i'm i'm just so privileged like i would i would just somebody should try that i'm just saying you will get two boarding passes one for you and one to display on your extra seat this will and you don't have to pay for that let other people know that that seat is reserved bro I, there has to be some complications on that right is that plane never over overbooked like what happens when that plane ticket's overbooked like do you just uh, do you just have to suck it up literally and try to maintain a one seat or what? Like, how does this work exactly? When you book an extra seat, you automatically get pre-board. And this is- Yo, I'ma need that. I'ma real deal need that, bro. I'ma get pre-board too? Yo, it kinda sound like I need to be in that category real quick. I'ma need that extra seat. I'ma need to get the pre-boarding, dude. And you know what? I'ma need a stewardess to tell me I'm handsome four times during the flight. That's just what I'm going to need. I'm going to need all of that probably. And when I get off, I'm going to need somebody to also, uh, I need all the passengers to just lay on the floor so I can walk on them because I just deserve it. I mean, let's be honest. I'm fat. 
So, I mean, listen, what did I do to deserve this? I don't know. I'll be eating, but you know how it is, guys. I'm, I'm fat. I need that. <laughs> it is what it is. I mean, if anything, I'm just helping you guys out because I'm like, my feet are basically chiropractically improved, but whatever, man. It's just, what are we just to ensure that you and your extra seat can sit. Can you imagine getting on before the grandma? <laughs> Yo, well, step aside, grandma. Let the real big dogs get on top. You, you wait out here. Don't worry about it. You get on after us. Yeah, you get on after us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, you ain't as good. You ain't. Just step back there. You don't, you, you don't need that. You don't need to get in your seat. Together. We're also able to bring our friend with you to pre-board, which we think is so nice. We like to ask for our seatbelt extender. Yeah, they really got on before everybody else, but that's crazy as hell. As we're boarding, and the flight attendants are super nice and discreet about it. The armrests between the two seats do come up, so you're able to be more comfortable. We recently flew in their Max 8 plane, which is super new and very spacious. As a 2X, I did not need a seatbelt extender, and the tray table came all the way down. When your trip is completed, you can call Southwest and they will either refund the points that you paid or the cost of the second ticket. This policy makes flying more comfortable for everyone, not just us. And we are so grateful that Southwest offers this. Yo, we I'm gonna need that free seat, bro. I'm sick of fat people getting all these free seats, bro. I'm gonna need that free hope seat. hope that these tips help you have a more enjoyable flight experience. Have you been dying to ride Flight of Passage at Disney World, but nah. you weren't sure if you'd fit? Deanna asked the cast member if she could try the test seat, and he was super accommodating. He said that she's mostly in the green, so she should be fine. Three Dude, I'm gonna keep it a buck, bro. If I go on a, if I'm going on a ride, and the dude goes, I mean, it's probably okay. I'm gonna go, what, yo, what do you mean, probably? Like, am I gonna die? Like, what do you, if, if somebody hits you with, you're mostly good, what do you talk about right now? What does that even mean, dude? I, what do you mean I'm mostly good? Am I good or am I not good, bro? It's a yes or a no. This ain't something I'm trying to play about, bro. I'm not trying to just, like, fly out of the ride or something like that. I get stuck in the ride for the next 48 hours, dude. Like, I got shit to do. You know what I'm talking about? I can't just die. So, uh, can you go ahead and tell me real quick, am I good or am I not good? You can't just be hitting me with a, I mean, yeah, it's gonna be, it's a, you know, it's a little sketchy, but, you know, I mean, you probably, I, I'm not gonna be on that ride. I'm good, bro. You just don't basically told me, like, there's a, there's a good chance I might die. I'm good. I'm not trying to roll the dice. Out of five of us can ride this ride comfortably. The three of us are sizes 2X. And so, what do you do with the other people? Like, okay, so... Three out of five can ride the ride. Two of the people just got to wait outside for you guys. Depressed as fuck. Looking at you guys having fun on the ride. Damn, that sounds tough as hell, bro. This sounds like some mean girl shit. So unfortunately, if you wear a size 4X or larger or have bigger legs, you might have a more difficult time. This ride is amazing, though. So Damn, if you're going to tell us how amazing it is, dude, you know those other women are watching that shit going, how amazing was it? Please tell me how amazing it was. You could fit in it, right? Oh, you had a fun time? Yeah, uh, yeah. What was I doing? I was outside. It was hot. <sighs> a lot of chafing. A lot of chafing. Uh, a lot of sunblock too. You know, I got a lot of surface area. You had fun though, right? You had fun. That's what I'd be saying. It's definitely worth trying the test seat. Don't forget to take your ears off for this one. Luckily, there's storage built into the back wall of the ride. The ride vehicles kind of look like motorcycles and are meant to feel like you're riding a banshee. Yeah, you can get me. You you can. <laughs> You could catch me in another spot, bro. I ain't, I ain't dropping off my bag, bro. That's crazy. You ain't never gonna see me do that. That's crazy as fuck, bro. I'm keeping all my shit on me. You could suck me off. I'm not fucking putting my shit down. That's a no-go, bro. I don't know where you guys are from. Will you, tr will you trust somebody like that? Nah, dude. Where I'm from, dude, people steal your shit. And they steal it a lot. When you sit down, make sure you slide all the way forward. This ride has a two-piece locking mechanism. One on your lower back and one on your calf. They both need to be secure in order for you to ride. I found this ride to be pretty comfortable, especially after some adjusting. If you know, you know. The cast member then comes by and makes sure everyone's seat is secured and gives you a little extra push if you need it. And then you're ready to fly through Pandora. Good for them, dude. I'm happy for them, dude. I'm happy they're able to live their best life even though they're literally physically impeding themselves on a daily basis. Anyway, guys. We're going to end the video here. If you enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate if everybody could leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video. All those things I'd appreciate tremendously. So if you could do any of that stuff for me, I would appreciate you tremendously. Uh, if you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in test, T-E-S-T, -E because we all need to test seat, all that stuff, man. I mean, I probably would never need to do that. If I ever was insecure or like didn't know if I was going to be able to fit on a ride or not, I would just wrap my meat around my body to ensure that I have that proper 
seated. You know what I'm talking about? Have that extra hold on me. So I should be fine. Just tie my meat around whatever the ride is. Just wrap it, tie it up. I'm good, dude. I'm fine. But uh, not many people are big meated such as myself. You know, I'm just privileged like that. I'm sorry that there are so many people out there that will never experience the ginormity of having a, you know, a massive me megalodon musty man meat such as myself. It's just what it is. I'm sorry. I'm just better than you. <laughs> sorry to say it, dude. If you got a small meat, I mean, if you're under, listen. If you got a small meat, I mean, I'm talking about something under eight inches here. I mean, like, this is uh, what it is, bro. I mean, I'm sorry to say this. You're small meated. You, it's, it's insignificant. It's never going to be as big as mine. I'm literally rocking with some old Megalodon massive musty manliness shit. And, uh, you know, it sucks that you don't know about that. You know, you'll never know about that. You never will. And that sucks. No, I'm just playing, guys. Come on, dude. Though I do have a big meat. Anyway. Uh, we're gonna end the video here. Uh, by the way, you guys are all amazing specimens I really do appreciate you guys taking your time out of your day to watch this video And it makes me feel good in ways that you probably don't even understand like I feel vibrating right now I'm literally vibrating right now. Can you see it? I'm not I'm not vibrating. I was lying to you, but I'm vibrating internally. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm embracing the inner vibrations if that <laughs> I don't have a vibrator in my ass. That's kind of crazy I, Like as I said that I was kind of thinking like damn hold on wait bro vi vibrating internally Anyway, you're beautiful. You're beautiful. You're amazing. You're spectacular. Keep drinking that water, ensuring that you're properly lubricated for the day. You're an amazing person. Enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, if you want to check out my social media, it'll be linked down below in the description. <sighs> Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.